When I work with organizations to develop their executives, these organizations want two things. First, they want me to evaluate the stage of these executives' evolution as a leader. And second, they want me to speed up and facilitate greater evolution of these executives. Now, in the course of doing this work, I've identified a variety of signs and signals that help me to identify where leaders are at on their evolution journey. And let me share with you several of these different signs and signals. When it comes to less evolved leaders, they are focused on profit. More evolved leaders are focused on creating value. They know that the degree to which they can create value is the degree to which they will be profitable. Less evolved leaders are short-term and finite-minded. More evolved leaders are long-term and infinite-minded. Now, when we are finite-minded, we see business as a game and it's our job to win the game. But the most evolved leaders recognize that business isn't a game. Business will continually perpetuate. Our job is not to win the game, but to be able to continually play the game. Less evolved leaders prioritize results. They want outcomes. More evolved leaders prioritize culture. They know that if they could set up a really healthy culture, they will have the results that they want over time. Less evolved leaders are unable to attune to their own emotions as well as to the emotions of others. These types of leaders struggle with being vulnerable. And they're the type of leader that kind of says, just rub dirt on it or walk it off. The most evolved leaders can really connect with their own emotions. And they can connect with and empathize with the emotions of others. Now, don't get me wrong, not all executives currently have these skills, but these are skills that they can develop. Less evolved leaders have a narrow window of tolerance. More evolved leaders have a wide window of tolerance. The reality is that all leaders have high emotional intelligence but only when they are operating within their window of tolerance. There's some leaders who it's easy for them to get set outside their window of tolerance. And when that's the case, they really struggle to be emotionally intelligent. So the most evolved leaders have this wide window of tolerance, which allows them to consistently be emotionally intelligent. Less evolved leaders avoid divergent ideas. More evolved leaders explore divergent ideas. They want these different ideas. They don't always run from them, but they know that their decision-making is better with them, even if it may make them and others uncomfortable. And last but not least, less evolved leaders are doers, but the most evolved leaders, they are facilitators. They are truly leaders. The reality is that most executives, they have been successful throughout their careers by being a doer but you cannot be successful as an executive if you continue to operate as a doer. Executives have to shift gears and it is not easy for them to do so, but they have to, they've gotta become a facilitator. They are no longer the doer of the work, they are now a facilitator of the work. So as I work through these different signs and signals, let me invite you to consider which of these signs or signals do you need greater evolution around? And I hope you will take some intention around further evolving as a leader in these areas.